Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on David's PC channel and this video is the promised update on the build I am building right now on the PC with a full custom liquid cooling system, sleeved cables and plenty or, or some case modifications. Now this is just a quick snapshot of a kind of like a montage put together quickly in time under time pressure of what my PC looks like right now but I will now show you different components that will be going into the PC so stay tuned for more starting off with one of the more obvious parts is the pump and I chose to go with the Alpha Cool VPP 655 with the Alpha Cool top which gives me expansion slots with G1 quarter inch fittings to which I can attach these fittings and I have sticky tape over them so air and dust doesn't get into the pump in the back here you can see here is the speed regulation and at the end of this cable you can see that there are simply two pins that go into, norm, into a standard Molex connector or the four pin Molex connector and this is one of the most more powerful pumps on the market and it is identical or from an engineering viewpoint it is it's nearly identical to the uh, Swiftec MCP655 and the Lane D5 but this is just from the different brand as for the heart of almost every water cooling loop the CPU block I decided to go with a very glorious piece of engineering and I hope that my camera focuses properly this time it is the Swiftec Apple GHD limited edition and you can see I have the number 89 of 302 water blocks made in made on the planet it is a gold plated water block as you can see it is very shiny and golden like it's meant to and it will fit perfectly with the gold white and purple color scheme that I have going on the bottom here you can see the copper base plate as well as the um, mounting mechanism which is well typical for Swift Tech very easy and effective to install the part in a water cooling loop that actually provides the cooling performance is the radiator I decided to go with uh, the quadruple radiator for four 120 millimeter fans, the XSPC RX 480. As you can see, I've already installed two compression fittings on this side. This radiator will be mounted in the top of the Corsair 800D, the case which you saw before, and I will show you the modification I made to the roof or the top of the case to house the radiator. Just a quick shot at the fins. This is a very low fin density fan, which means that relatively low RPM fans will be sufficient to provide lots of cooling performance. Providing the power to the entire system, I decided to go with the Corsair AX850 watt power supply, which is 80 plus gold rated, which will give me very nice efficiency, as well as its, hopefully you can see this, fully modular design enables me to easily sleeve the entire cables of the system. And here is just a shot of all the compression clamps remaining compression fittings and some angles which I have not yet installed but might need for the build moving right on to the second component which I will cool in my liquid cooling loop I will be cooling my ASUS GDX 680 with the EK and now the flag is reflecting the EK FC680 GTX water block. This is the acetal top with the nickel plating version. To go hand in hand with that, I have also decided to go with the EK FC680 GTX back plate, which is of an outstanding finish in a sort of semi circular solid aluminum. For the coolant, 
in a way, multiple coolants. I decided to go with the Mayhem's X1 series. Mayhem's makes excellent products and this is their high performance um, series. So I've decided to go with one bottle of clear, pink and UV purple which I will be combining and mixing to create the perfect color tone to match the MDPCX purple sleeving. Some other products that I've also purchased is the Akanza Tim Cleaner, which I'll be using to clean the original, um, well, Tim off of the graphics card and the processor, and then reapplying some Arctic MX4. The tubing which I have decided to use in my system, this is Primochill Primoflex half inch inner diameter and three quarter inch outer diameter tubing it is very very elastic in that sense it does not kink easily which is great for tight turns as you can see I have ordered some of the full white non see-through and some clear tubing deciding on which I want to go through I might just have solid white tubing or I might have the clear tubing where you can see the purple coolant The two components that are already installed in the case so far are the Phobia Balancer 150 milliliter reservoir. As you can see, it is also the gold version, and I have already installed some compression fittings. Then also, to run the entire system, I've decided to go with the Gigabyte Z68 UD7 motherboard. A great motherboard for overclocking and for multiple GPU usage. I will only be using one for the moment, possibly another GTX 680 in the future. Now, the reason I chose to go with this board is, first of all, its performance, but also its slight golden accents around the motherboard. Besides those golden accents, it is completely pitch black neutral and simply a stunning looking board. Now moving along to some of the modifications I have already made. This was originally the backplate for my LGA775 board from Gigabyte. And since I bought the current motherboard open box, there was no I.O. shield included. So I simply just cut out the according spaces and painted the entire thing white. I have also painted the PCI slots to create some contrast in the case as well as the housing of the Sony OptiArc Blu-ray burner, which I will be housing in a 5.25 inch drive. Moving right along to some other modifications I've made, these are Scythe Gentle Typhoon AP15 fans. They have a 120mm diameter, and I have painted the blades in a matte white to match, again, to match the color scheme. I have, as well, sleeved the cable in white MDPCX sleeve and the white connector came in very handy. I have a total of five of these fans all painted and sleeved, which four, four of which will be pushing air out of the case through the radiator and one will be an intake. Now moving on to the major modification or the most major I've made to the case. As you can see, I've mounted a 480 millimeter radiator grill in the top of the 800D. Natively, it only supports one 360 millimeter radiator. This is a Phobia Bricky grill, and these screws right now are silver. I will still be painting them black to match the exterior of the case. Up here will be mounted first the fans underneath here and then underneath the fans the radiator. All the fans will be exhausting air out of the top of the case and then there will be one intake fan. This way I will not have too bad pressure because Corsair handily provides the intake coming in from the bottom of the case into the main chamber. We have arrived at the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, Please don't forget to like it and favorite it, it helps me out and keeps me going. Stay tuned for a slideshow of some great shots of the system coming soon.